Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Everspace. I cannot get this game out of my head. I had to play more of it. For those that don't know, I just recently played this game for the one hour roulette this past Sunday, and easily one of my favorite space games that I have ever played. The roguelike elements within it and just the way the game controls. I wasn't kidding when I said this is exactly the kind of, like, game I've been looking for in a space game so I had to play more of it immediately I'm sorry to floppy nights it's got to take a little bit of a back seat on the back burner I will be coming back to that game sometime in the future but I need to play more of this game as soon as possible there there's just no way for me not to be able to so uh, at the end of the last run that I don't remember, I, I think I got like a little bit far in the beginning, but then I just kind of got a little bit overconfident and got absolutely uh, destroyed by enemies. But I ended up getting a good amount of credit. So I'm going to look to get the sector scanner advanced up a little bit more. And there we go. So now I got the sector scanner at level one. Adds additional information to the sector map. Next level shows natural hazards on the map so now i'm gonna have a better idea of what it is i'm going into and then getting more device slots would be what i'm gonna want next so i could have more stuff and i should be able to on the next one from the looks of it so i believe we can launch right now we're still gonna just keep on going with normal and hope for the best but i I absolutely love this run. game. I am glad for your confidence. Okay, so we got two outlone well, drones that don't have soon. any shields on them, so I should be able to take these out myself. Okay, I gotta get better on my aim, but I got some compound out of that, so that's nice. Okay, let's see here. We got some mineable ore up here. I just gotta get a lot better with my aim and figuring out probably what I should and should not be going against. How far out my guns can reach so I know when I can go ahead and start shooting at enemies just to make sure that I'm getting the most out of it before I start taking damage myself. Which I'm sure I'll get used to in, more, in due time the more I do it. Okay, we got something up here. We got a wrecked Freda. I should also be looking to upgrade the amount of money that I get off of run so I can afford more things in the future. I don't need any more fuel. And that might be all I can get off of this for now. Oh, plasma field, yes. The biggest thing I want to get are nanobots for any repairs. The biggest thing that I've been running into issue-wise is my scanner going down and then not knowing what is all around. Okay, that's all of the plasma. That's the fuel that I can't really get. So how much more am I able to explore in here? Because from the looks of it, I've already done everything that I can do here right now. But if I am to go a certain distance, like those, how far are they away? They're around like five. Is there a certain distance where they're then off of it? Because if not, then that kind of tells me I've already done everything that I can do here. And I'm assuming that's the case, because everything else just kind of looks like empty space. There's nothing else on the entire scanner here. So let's go to the next and test out this sensor. Because maybe the sensor will actually tell me everything... So, okay, so it, it shows the risk level. So this is a medium risk. This was a medium risk too, and I did okay, but I'm assuming more risk, more reward. But I haven't been doing super good, so probably best to go in the less risk areas 
that I can try to get some more mining done before taking on massive risks. Not having any nanobots yet makes it a little hard. So we got a scout and a drone a bit of a distance away. Didn't get much ore out of this. So the drone I can just flat out take out. Oh, they're going to be going into a battle, so let's try and get to there along with it. I don't want to accidentally shoot the wrong things. But the drone I can just take out. Perfect. Nice, and its shields are down. Because I need to see if I need to account for like aiming in a way where if they're like moving upward, do I gotta aim more upward or do I not have to worry about such a thing? Alright, well I'm gonna take some of this free ore because I've already noticed they don't really get mad if you do that. I don't... Oh, here we go. We got some mineable ore here. So this is kind of what low risk area is. And I'm assuming... Okay, so that's about 1.5. I'm assuming... Oh, no, it's not behind that. So I'm at 1 now. So if I go back to 1... It does some damage. Let's go back to about 1.2. It looks like it's still doing some damage as well. You know, and there's probably something that tells me what the range of my weapons are that I just don't know yet. Let's see here. Is there like a range fire rate? Oh yeah, range. Looks like that's roughly around 200 meters at a velocity of 2200 meters. Okay. And this one's more of a range of 100, I mean 1,250 meters. And that's about kilometers. What do we got here? Oh, this could be bad. Oh, it's just an outlaw. Okay, it's an outlaw drone. I can take that out. Give me some free fuel here. This one's a scout. Okay, so I think my issue is I'm aiming too far away. Ooh, we got a tech container. But that's their tech container, so I don't really want to be messing with that. But it's also not in yellow. But at the same time, it's probably best if, again, I don't... Yeah, because that's on their thing. I don't want to be making enemies with them. I wonder if... Let's see here... Uh, okay, this is more graphical stuff. Is there a way? Okay, I don't have to worry about that. I was kind of wondering if there was a way to change it from like kilometers just to pure meters. But that does not seem to be the case. But I'm just going to assume, you know, that basically that would be 600 meters or so. And if I'm completely wrong, I'm completely wrong. I'm obviously part of the American feet and miles and inches and not meters and kilometers and centimeters and all that. So, you know, bear with me here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I gotta start using my weapon overdrive a little bit more too, and then the uh, shield boost as well. Oh, this is... Okay, so we got one drone and we got one fighter. Going against an outlaw scout. I might be able to deal with this a bit. I don't. Like how am I not getting to the shields that well right now? There we go. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. I took some shield hits, but I didn't take any... I didn't take any hull damage. So if I just chill a bit, I should be able to re-get those. Okay, we're good. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I might have been misaiming again. That looks... God, that almost looks like a plasma field, but that's so far back, I doubt it actually is. Okay, we got some mineable ore here. Only got 250 credits so far. So... Going the less risky is definitely giving me a lot less reward than what I'm wanting. What do we have here? It's not showing as anything. Probably best I don't attack it just in case. We got some mineable ore, mineable crystals, but still no nanobots. It's fine though. The more of these we can get, the better. We can trade for some stuff later on. Another mineable ore. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay, I didn't see anything else. My fuel... I'm a bit near half or so. I'm not seeing anything else popping up on the radars. So again, I could be wrong. There's probably more stuff I could be getting. I just got to get better sensors for areas like this in that case. In case that there's anything further on out. But I don't know how big those go to. Alrighty, so we're at a medium risk right now. We'll see what that entails. We got the jump gate. One outlaw scout. An outlaw drone with two scouts from the looks of it. And we got a trader. So I do got some stuff that I can trade. So let's see what we can get here. Uh, let's see here. Dark matter compound. I don't really have much then. You take these guys out and see if there's something decent I can get off of them. Plasma field's nice. I've only used one light missile too. But every time I've tried to take on three ships, that's usually when I get into a really bad mess. That's another plasma field. That looks close enough too. How close do I have to be for it to pop up? Has okay, so roughly if they're around three kilometers is when it starts to show. So there's probably a lot that I am missing. Okay, I've been noticed. Dang it, that one's not down yet. Shoot. Okay, what's this? We got the scout. Okay, so the last... Awesome, and I haven't... The last one's the drone, and it hasn't noticed me yet. It's another drone as well, near some mineable ore. And the drones I don't have to worry about as much, but I gotta get a lot closer for this. And that's where it can get a little bit dicey for me. Okay, doing good, doing good. Where was the mineable ore? Here we go. The other drone has not noticed me yet. Let's go take it out, see if there's something I can get. 
Okay, but I can sense that. Maybe enemies show up more than things that are mineable or anything else. Because that plasma field, again, did not show up until about three kilometers out. So, I'm not... I know there's probably a lot of stuff that I'm missing. I probably could have gotten nanobots already. The biggest problem is I don't really have a lot of credits at the moment. And I kind of need those for future runs. Getting some fuel is nice, too, because I'm really low on fuel. Whoa, what's... Outlaw Missile Turret. Well, I got some scrap out of it. I didn't even notice the Missile Turret at all. Whoa, we're getting a lot of stuff coming in now. This could be a situation here. So now I gotta be careful, but they're just drones. I need to put an end to this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad, actually. We got a container, finally. Two nanobots, excellent. Okay, let's get on out of here. Well, oh, hang on, we got some more stuff here. Ooh, we got some more containers, okay. Oh, man, lots of nanobots, this is good. Processor and scrap, nice. Okay, so I don't need to do any of that, but these can be upgraded, huh? More shield damage. What's the upgrade I can get on this? Increases the weapon's shield damage, even on the Gatling, huh? An extra 5% energy consumption, but 10% more damage. So it's the same on both. Let's see here. This one doesn't cost a lot. What's this one cost me? What can I build? Oh, I can do the pulse laser that I picked up that one time. Wait, no, this is the pulse laser. Wait, am I... Oh, I can build another Gatling on it. Okay. Well, this isn't too expensive. And it's just as cheap, it looks like. I should be able to do both, so... I can do a shield damage modification on that. And one on... Okay, why is this a different one? Did it... It didn't upgrade it on both. No, because that went up. So, what's the difference here? Pulse Laser Plus, Gatling Plus. Interesting. Energy consumption's up just a small bit. It's not the worst ever. Okay, I'm getting more figured out here. I can get an energy injector, but I don't have anything like that at the moment. Okay. But I got more nanobots, so that's pretty big. That processor helped with that. So I've got just better weapons at the moment. I probably could hang around. Having seven nanobots is nice. And I got up to a thousand credits now for any future stuff, so that's also pretty decent. All right, sector two, that, not too bad, not too bad of a start. We're doing pretty okay at the moment. Let's see what we're going into now. Oh well, boy. See what this sector has in store for us. Outlaw drone point two. That's a big that's an elite. I definitely don't want to be dealing with that. Got a drone M2. Okay, so those are gonna be going into a fight, so I need to try to take some advantage of this. For a demilitarized zone, this place sure sees a lot of action. The demilitarized zone is the boundary established between colonial and Okar claims after the war. I didn't press that. But the zone is intended to last until a... Oh, this one actually has a shield. Oh, that's going to be important to know. The treaty stipulates no colonial fleet presence, although there are colonial mining interests at work in the area. And then, of course, the outfit. Of course. Ah, oh, man, I can't. 
aim to save my life. Got it. God, nice. Credits, credits. Good stuff. Got some more scrap, too. Okay, that elite I'm really worried about. Oh, okay. We got some Oscar fighters. Is that what it's called? It is... Oh, Akar. Okar. Oh, oh, man. But there's something there. Mm, this is going to be a little risky. I don't know if I should be taking that kind of a risk, though. Oh, man, there's a lot more than I was anticipating. Okay, I gotta get out. This is a bad idea. Let's see if I can get into some kind of hiding here. I can get around things like this, because I'm also very low on energy. Okay, I might be losing a lot of stuff, but I gotta... I gotta get out. Okay. I don't think I'd be able to take those on, even with a uh, bit of an upgrade there. That's a little bit much... Um, let's go easy, medium, medium. I guess that's probably better. I can do the easier one first and then try to get upgraded enough for harder fights later. A jump suppressor is active nearby. That's not good. Well, do something about it. Find it and disable it. The higher the signal strength, the closer you are. Okay. I'm guessing the jump suppressor just means that I won't be able to jump out. We got one drone, one scout. Ooh, a uh, scout M2, basic drone. Okay, scout Mark II. But my weapon overdrives are back up, so I just gotta get a certain distance and I can go crazy on them. Out now. Level of destruction and breathtaking. Hostilities only ceased when resources were exhausted. Got it. Okay, I took a little bit of hold damage, but I'm pretty okay. Shoot, but something else sees me. It's a mark two. Yeah. Got another scout here. Come on, there we go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. We took a little bit of hull damage, but we did not lose any of our sensors, which has always been the big, the big thing. Shield plus, okay. So, definitely swap and salvage the other. Beautiful. All right, plasma field. Now, what are these? Oh, boy. This could be bad. What am I... Are these like detonators? They are. Is there... Okay, I'm not really worried about my hull damage at the moment because I really got to save the nanobots for anything else in the future. But how many would it cost? Oh, it was showing right there. Shoot, so I just used them. Damn. Okay. I... Yeah, I done goofed. That's a basic drone, so I could take that out. Let's get the plasma. Damn it, what a waste of nanobots. I mean, it's not a full waste. Getting getting whole damage repaired is good. But obviously... Oh, yeah, I need some fuel. Oh, a little bit closer than I anticipated. Just a basic drone, though, so that's easy. Oh, more fuel, thank you. But I can also get some more mineable fuel here. Where was that? Here we go. Okay, but I gotta find the jumping suppressor. Oh, boy, that's still not a lot of, lot of fuel. Okay, I'm getting away from it. We got more mineable fuel here, though, and that's in the direction of whatever it is I gotta take out. This is a former colonial station. And there's a wreck following the board of the owner. Will I find anything interesting inside? It is a possibility. However, my scanners indicate that some systems are still online, including the security protocols. I knew it. Nothing comes for free. 
Okay. Got a good amount of credits for the next run, too. But yeah, I for sure there's more stuff out here to explore than he, I'm even than even I know. Oh, actually it's going down a bit. Is that it? No, that was the crystal. Wasn't that the crystal thing? I already mined that, so. Okay, we are getting closer. It's sitting at 80. Now it's going down. Where might it be? Nope, it's going even further down. Do I need to go down myself? Oh, is it within this? No? Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's got to be here. Okay, I didn't even see this. Oh, do I just got to... Yeah, no, I got to take it out, right? Um, oh, Jesus. All right. Ooh, container, okay. More fuel, not gonna say no to that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, definitely gotta be careful of these little... Those have really good range. Okay, was there anything else in here though? I don't see anything around. So I'm assuming we're done here. And now we're going into a medium medium, so. We're still doing pretty decent. We're doing better than we have been. I'm utilizing my weapon overdrive more. Got a lot of good stuff that I could trade in. Oh boy, an elite. Oh my god. This is medium? What the heck is any of that? Okay, I still got 11. God, these guys can take a beating. Credits, credits, credits. Thank you. Right now, I'm already just kind of thinking of getting everything up for the next. Oh, God. Okay, not bad, not bad. Give me the credits for that. Yes, please. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. That wasn't too bad. Uh, going against two at once, though, is probably not the best. This is a drone M2. Perfect, perfect. Oh. Oh, boy. Where at? Oh, okay. It's a turret. I still want to try to save my missiles if I can. Shield booster. Okay, that's good. I haven't used shield boosters yet. Whoa! Drone override. Oh, I got a damage limiter. It reduces any incoming damage for a short amount of time. When activated, influence drones within a certain range to fight on your side. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's equip this right now. Shield Plus is pretty good too, but I love the weapon overdrive. The Gatling is definitely the one I'm going to want to upgrade. So we got Gatling plus plus now. So that might be pretty good. Now these are just scouts, so I can't utilize any drones against them. I need my shields to come back before I even think about fighting them. So we'll just try and stay hidden until they're fully back. Man, going against a basic scout and an elite. With the weapon overdrive, that could be good. Um, it's 
get the shield booster ready to nice good amount of fuel here don't want to be taking any more damage than I have to obviously There ain't no way I'm going to be able to split these two up, I don't think. But I should be strong enough to fight them. I feel like I need to try to take out the Outlaw Scout first. I still got nine missiles. some of it first. Overdrive it. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, we did take a bit of a beating there. I've only got three nanobots this time. Got plasma field there. Mineable fuel. I mean, getting more fuel is good right now. I really need to hope that nothing jump drives to me right now. Oh, nice. Wow, I didn't even realize just how many credits I actually had. Good deal. Okay. Uh, okay, everything's okay outside of hole damage. Sensors are still pretty okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. We out, we out, we out. We're not taking no risks here. Okay. Dang, there was a couple more things I could have gotten, but four of those coming out at once, there was absolutely no way that was going to happen. I'm actually really lucky I was able to get that jump drive off without getting hit by anything. So we got the jump gate. We got two outlaw drones. How far? Man, they're really... But how long is the duration? Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Ooh, only 15, but... For 45 seconds, that is good. Okay, where's the other one? I gotta make sure they're both within range. Okay. There we go. And this is why I can't do first-person shooters, because I can't aim at all on anything. I don't know how many more seconds I have here. Enemies in range. Oh, jeez. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Okay, we got nanobots here. Get him, get him, get him. Missiles are inbound still for me. Okay, I think those turrets... Okay, I think the turrets took that out. Okay, I'm still fine. Yeah, the turrets took out the drone, so that worked in my favor. Oh, even more nanobots. Okay. So we got the missile turrets here. Good stuff, good stuff, okay. So we got nanobots, we got some scrap. Okay, I got eight nanobots, so let's just get the hole repaired as much as possible. We're doing, doing good, doing good. Plasma, ooh, a plasma mine. Yeah, sure, we can set some mines. 
Okay, fuel, not bad. Oh, what do we got coming? Oh, boy. Okay, gotta be careful here. I need to... Is there anything else that I can get before I get the heck on out of here? How many is it? It's only three, but I don't know what a core... Yeah, no. If I can't, if I can't tell what the name of it is, I'm not taking no risks. Oh, man, I gotta get to that jump gate fast. We're doing okay, though. This is, this is a good run so far. Oh my god, that's a full thing. Shield charge drone? Wait. Oh man, do I dare risk trying to fight this thing? It's noticed me. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to go against a Star Destroyer. Okay, I'm not I'm not well equipped enough for that, especially because most likely more things are going to be coming back. We're doing really good. We're doing really good. I got a lot of credits for the future. My memories are not my own. They are copies. They originate from someone else. It was at the Fleet Academy. His name was Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Quiet, reserved, awkward around the others. He had a friend, Seth. They shared a dorm. Basic training was tough. Seth looked out for Adam. He stood up for him. The brains and the brawn. They became close, like a team. And then the orders came. Deployment for war against the Okar. Okay, then. I had another vision. Sector three. I, I know my name. Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Web interest. Do you have any information on that name? I do not. But this level of cognizance in a clone is highly unusual. I would like to help you learn more in order to understand how this happened. Let's room. find some answers. Outlaws. What can you tell me about the Okar? A reptilian race. Historically peaceful in nature until the colonials arrived. That's that a is. fighter. The perceived threat created existential panic among the species. Their home worlds lie on the western edges of the Belgrade cluster, although their exact origins are still uncertain. It's an Okar fighter, so I gotta be really careful here. But it's just him. You. And I've locked on to them. Oh my god, it's a full-on fighter. Not too bad, though. And I got me some nanobots. Oh god, there's still some other things around, too, huh? What do we got there? Basic Outlaw Scout. I got, okay, I got some nanobots. Let's get on out. Drop a mine. Let's drop a couple mines, actually. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. You know what? Let's just try it. I'm feeling dangerous. Even though I'm pretty much out of energy here. Let's just use the rest of our missiles. Okay, um, what I need is to equip this. Give me more. God, I can't get that many more light missiles. Okay. We've got company. God, I'm doing some damage, but just not enough. Nanobots. Sensors are a bit down, but I need to use them on my health right now. Come on, give me some more energy back. We can do this here. Okay, I've sent out the last of my... 
Wait, is it leaving? I ain't letting it go. I got this. I got this. Can use the rest of my energy. I should be able to take it out. Oh, wait. Ooh. Okay, what else is trying to fight me right now? We got ourselves a basic fighter. Man, these things are harder than that is. Okay. Ran right into it. I got two more nanobots. Let's just try to keep our hole going as long as we can. I got them moves. Oh, did I take him out? Nope. Nope. We're still... That's just an outlaw drone. Are we good? Are we good? We good. <laughs>